Hi, my name is Ray Naylor, and this is how to promote your music using video on the internet. This uh, episode deals with editing video, and you're going to have to do some editing if you record your video to upload to YouTube, to your website, or other sites such as Reverb Nation. By the end of this video, you'll know some basic editing techniques, techniques that will probably cost you nothing for software and will be easy to do and easy to learn. I'll be right back. I said in the introduction that uh, to do some editing you will probably not need to spend any money. And why is that? Well, if you have a Mac it comes with iMovie and if you have a Windows uh, computer you can download for free Movie Maker. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use iMovie since that is what I have uh, to give you an idea as to some of the things that you can do with editing. So um, let's take a look at that and then I'll be back. Okay, so here we are in uh, iMovie, and I should say that most, um, if not all, video editing uh, programs, anywhere, anywhere from a small app that you might download from the App Store uh, or the Microsoft App Store, uh, as well, uh, all the way up to um, professional video editing software, pretty much works more or less the same way. Um, so the first thing we want to do is... Uh, import our video and in this particular um, uh, program they have import video under this file menu so if I click that it's going to bring up uh, everything that's in your computer so let's say for example your videos are in uh, a thing an external drive uh, called media drive or maybe they're just in the regular uh, Macintosh um, drive so once we come to the video uh, we'll click import all but I'm not going to do that since I've already done that so once you import it you want to review your video clips right here we just really have one video clip uh, we do have a, a photograph here and we have some audio here so the way we do that <clears throat> is after we've reviewed it we say okay I want this clip and we're going to bring it down here which is called uh, the timeline and let me make this a little shorter okay which for some reason it's giving me a hard time here we go okay so then that we want to let's say the next we want this clip I'm going to make them shorter so we can see it um, and we want this clip so here's our uh, here are the clips for our video and uh, the first thing we let's say okay I want a title so in this program you're going to go down here in uh, iMovie and hit title and what it does is bring up a bunch of uh, options for your title. Now I'm just go I'm going to want it at the bottom here. So uh, there are all kinds of stuff here. Uh, I'm not you know if you go through here you can see uh, the different titles. I'm just going to use uh, this particular one. Um, now it's a little short, let's say, so I want to make it a little bit longer. And if I click that, it has title right here. And I'm going to add Terry. Terry's title. Okay. Now, uh, with some of these, uh, it with, in Garage Movie, some of these you cannot adjust the title. Um, I think in this one you can adjust the font. Uh, in other, other, some of the other ones, um, you can adjust uh, not only the uh, font, you can adjust the color of the title. Uh, they used to do that with all of them. I'm not sure why they changed it, but they did. So. But let's say, okay, I don't want the title there. I want it on a separate thing in the beginning. So in this case, this is what we're going to do. See where it says maps and backgrounds. And look through here. Let's say, I'm, okay, I want to use this background. I'm just going to drag this down to the front. And I'm going to take the title. I'm going to move it over. And I'm going to move this here. So now we have the title. If we... Uh, in, now, in this case like this, we're probably going to want to um, 
uh, get another title that would be up in the middle. But for the sake of time, we'll leave it where it is. Uh, the next thing we do could do is do transitions, which means from one clip to the other. Now, there's two transitions that you're going to want to use probably 95 uh, to 98 percent of the time, and one of them is called a cut, where actually you don't do any transition. So it's one clip to the other. So if I um, play this. and we'll get to the second clip, it's just going to go to the next one. And again, uh, you're not going to do, you're not going to have two things like this where you necessarily where you're going to go from the same video to the same video um, unless you want to in fact uh, uh, do that because you don't want the stuff in between, the, the video in between. You, normally you're going to have a different clip here, maybe a, a, a photograph. So let's, in fact, let's do that. Let's go back to, uh, whoops, there we go. This is just a picture of Phil Oaks. I'm going to put that, and I don't know why it's not letting me bring that down. Here we go. Put that here. So when we have our transition happening, it's going to transi transition from the, uh, the video uh, to uh, the photograph. Uh, you can do this with anything. If you have a slideshow that you made up, you can you can use that as another clip. Uh, if you have um, a, a video of you performing, for example, in another venue or in a venue, you can put that video there. Put anything there that is a uh, that is a visual. Okay, so um, there's that clip. The other clip is called the other transition, I should say, is called um, uh, cross dissolve, which is right here. And uh, I'm going to bring that down to here. What is a cross dissolve? When you play it, it's going to go from one to the other, but you're going to see this kind of thing. When would you use that? Uh, most of the time you're going to use the, the uh, straight cut. Uh, but if you have, let's say, uh, a time difference from one video to the other. For example, let's say you have another video of you performing. And you're going to say right here, uh, I want to show you a video of me performing at the Tin Angel, for example. Then it would be appropriate to use this because we're talking about a time difference when this was taken. Um, and um, and you can, um, here we go, you can make these transitions longer if it's too short. Uh, now there are a bunch of other uh, transitions which you bear, or which you should not use hardly ever. And here's some examples. Here's one that does this thing. Here's one. That, now, why would you use these? These are kind of strange. Uh, people are not used to them. Well, if you have a reason to use them, um, and I'm, and if you say, okay, this is really going to make the video better if I uh, bring something in like this. Now, sometimes I've used these in the beginning right here. For example, let's say the open circle. We put that down here, and we go for. Okay, th that would be a, uh, an example where you might want to use that. But for the most time, you use the cut and you use the cross uh, dissolve. Okay, um, so let's see here. Um, uh, so let's say that we don't like this sound for some reason. We're gonna we're gonna pull that down so we have no sound, but we have. Um, Okay, where's my videos? Okay, so here's some sound. Let's say um, we want to, for example, let's, well, let, let me use another example. Let me bring this back up. Now, there's no sound under the uh, uh, this particular um, photograph, but we want something. So uh, we're going to take this particular sound that we also have uploaded, put it under there. We're going to make it shorter. And now when we do it, I don't know how much well you can hear that. It seems a little low. But anyway, something like that. Uh, and let's say you have a separate audio uh, for um, the video and you have to sync it. Well, you'd bring it down and you, you would uh, kind of play with it until it's the, the, new, the uh, better audio is synced. 
to here and then of course once you sync it you would uh, take away um, the audio on the video. I'm not going to really get into that. It's a little more complicated. Um, okay, so let me see if there's anything else I should show. Oh yeah, one more thing. One more transition that I use a lot and it's called um, fade to black. And let's, here it is right here. And I'm going to bring that down to the end right here. And as we play the end of the video, We're coming up to fade to black. It's the end of the video. And there we go. Now you may want to have also credits at the end or something. You want to say something at the end. You do the same thing here. Uh, you, you would um, bring this down uh, over here. Bring another uh, thing like one of these, one of this type of thing over to here. Uh, and sometimes, uh, let me see if they have it here under titles. For example, you'll see this one which is this kind of thing. And let's say you want to have this uh, uh, as your credits. And you can get rid of, when you put it down to the bottom here, you can get rid of, uh, you don't need, uh, let's say I only have three things you want to say. Well, all the other ones from uh, the fourth down, the name description, you get rid of that, you delete that. Okay, uh, I think that's enough. These are some things that you can do with a uh, 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 video editing program. Uh, the other thing I want to mention, I'm not even going to show it, uh, YouTube has its own uh, editor, which I found uh, not very intuitive. Uh, I got confused trying to use it. Um, the best thing you can do uh, with it that I would suggest is if you have a video and you only need to uh, shorten the front, the front is you turning on the computer and, and uh, turning on the uh, uh, camera and going back to your chair to do the video. You don't want that. Maybe at the end you have yourself uh, walking back to the camera and turning it off, but you don't want that. You want to get rid of it. Uh, in terms of trimming in this kind of program, you just do what I did before. You get this and you take some of it off. Uh, with YouTube, you can also trim everything else. You can play with it if you want to. I just found it really confusing and difficult to use. And I'm going to assume that you know uh, how to upload uh, the, your video to YouTube and probably uh, also to the other. Um, well, for your website, uh, if you do your own website, there is a way in the web, web software that you can put a video in. And uh, similarly, uh, something like Reverb Nation, uh, they will help you, I should say they, uh, the website will help you upload any video to that uh, site. Uh, one of the things that I uh, really want to suggest is as you do your videos to start keeping a checklist of things that you make sure that you do, such as proper lighting, uh, that you have your background set up, uh, that you have the uh, uh, shot framed uh, correctly so you don't cut off your head, for example. And uh, you'll find other things as you go along, uh, mistakes that you make and you just add that to uh, your uh, checklist. Uh, if you go through this um, uh, tutorial, the whole thing, and if you've gone through them, uh, you've seen you a lot of those things that you can actually put on uh, your checklist. This is the last episode in this long tutorial on how to use video, video to promote your music. But uh, starting in about four weeks, I'm going to produce five to seven minute videos on all kinds of topics about promoting your music, uh, not just on um, video, but also on other areas. So subscribe to my channel so that you can get updates as to when, when the next video is uploaded on the same channel. Thanks a lot. See you soon.